Okay, I'm going to expand upon this article. If that <clears throat> expound, expand is that word? I don't know. It's from CNN. I'll put the link in the uh, description, so hopefully I won't get a copyright strike. And uh, Florida Board of Education approves new Black History standards that critics call a big step backwards. I've already read this article. Republican School Board in Florida is literally saying educators should sugarcoat subjects like slavery, destruction of African Americans' property, and more, saying slavery wasn't all bad and when African American neighborhoods were attacked, there were bad actors on both sides. Whatever they are trying to prove, this isn't the way to go about it. Sure, white people may not all be bad and all Republicans might not be racist, but this is not the way to illustrate that, just the opposite. What it really tells is the amount of racism in this country that people don't immediately abhor this rhetoric. It just shows how prevalent it is, which is the opposite of the Republicans' talk about the United States of America not being a racist country. Well, if it's not a racist country, then why do people think this is normal? Why do people growing up in small towns have like their friends' dads making racist jokes and homophobic jokes and everything like that if it's not normal and it's not a racist country. Well, if you're trying to prove that, don't try and like put this like kind of talk into law. So the article says, the Florida Board of Education approved a new set of standards for how black history should be taught in the state's public schools. Um, it was approved at the board's meeting Wednesday in Orlando. It is the latest development in the state's ongoing debate over African American history, including the Education Department's rejection of a preliminary pilot version of an advanced placement African American studies course for high school students, which it claimed lacked educational value. The new standards come after the state passed new legislation under Governor Ron DeSantis that bars instruction in schools that suggest anyone is privileged or oppressed based on their race or skin color. So no like white privilege or no like, because you're black, you don't have any like less of an opportunity than anybody else. DeSantis has used his fight against wokeness, which actually, so he wants people to stay asleep, right? Woke means you've woken, you've awaked, you're, you've woken up to the reality that there's a lot of like unfairness, you know, civil rights, blah, blah, blah. Those things were real. People like, oh, I've woken up to the reality. He wants people to go back asleep to where they were before. The new standards require middle school students uh, to be taught how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. So basically, sugarcoating slavery. When high school students learn about events such as the 1920 Okoe massacre, the new rules require that instruction to include acts of violence perpetrated against and by African Americans. So basically, it's the Trump line of there were bad actors on both sides he's they're saying you got to use trump's line like well there were good and bad on both sides on like a race massacre or like a, where people's entire neighborhoods and livelihoods were destroyed by mobs of white gangs they're supposed to say there were bad and good on both sides like it's fucking donald trump who's a moron um, the massacre is considered the deadliest election day violence in U.S. history and according to several histories of the incident it started when Moses Norman a prominent black landowner in Okoe, Florida community 
um, attempted to cast his ballot and was turned away by white poll workers. Similar standards are noted for lessons about other massacres, including Atlanta Race Massacre, Tulsa Race Massacre, and the Rosewood Ma Race Massacre. So he's saying, like, the Florida legislators are saying, like, you don't have any less of an opportunity based on the color of your skin, and you should sugarcoat these, like, these people were doing well, and they were oppressed by mobs of, like, white violent violence, and you're not supposed to talk about that. It's like unbelievable the level of ignorance of these people. It's shameful. And the fact that everybody doesn't realize this immediately and just call it out is shameful. And if you're trying to like use this to be like, oh, we're not racist. No, you are racist. This is racist.